I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. It's pepper season, and this is what I do. So how about that pepper in that thumbnail? Whew. Warped reality. This is the chocolate version of the warped reality. We look at that pepper. Just insane looking. Now, I uh, reached out to Tomas to inquire on the genetics. Uh, haven't got word back yet. So if I get word back, I'll tell you. But um, just very bumpy. There are spikes. Look at the spike on the corner right there on that little point. There are spikes all over this thing. It's just a nasty looking pepper. And when I say that, you know, I mean, it's just beautiful looking. Goodness gracious, it really is. Uh, I'm very excited to eat this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it open, I'm gonna take a few pictures for Instagram because this looks like it's a beauty. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, we'll make a short to tease people about it. But then we'll get right to it. So give me just a second while I decide the best way to cut this. I, I got a good cut on it. <sighs> wow. It's so oily. Oil is pooling up. Look at this side here, let me show you. Look at the interior of that. This one in particular, I'm gonna put the picture up on Instagram, you'll be able to see the oils a little bit better. But they're pooling up. Wow. It just smells very strong. Kind of has a, a floral sort of aroma. Whew. Just a very, very strong smelling pepper. All right, so now I'm gonna make a video for the short. You guys are in on this with me. We're making a video together. Okay, ready? Whew. All right, will you look at this thing? Look at the bumps on this and the spikes on this pepper. This is a Warped Reality Chocolate. It was grown by Tomas Spillane. If you want to watch the whole video, go to my channel and watch it. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Wow. Smoky, earthy, and juicy. Very earthy, like you're like you're tasting what it was grown in. I love pep uh, chocolate pods that have that are smoky. They aren't all, you know. I, I appreciate it when they are. That was smoky, very juicy and earthy. Um, it, it was floral and bitter at the end. The only thing I have left now is just a little bit of pepper flavor. Very earthy, but wow. I think it would make a great sauce. That pepper would be a great sauce. It would make a great powder also. The heat is still climbing. But the phenotype on that, was that not a pretty pepper? Oh. Just looking at it, it just looks angry. You know, it looked hot as can be. Super flavorful though. Very, very strong flavor, you know. Um, the heat is 
a little bit on my tongue, on the back of my tongue, but mostly in my throat. A non chili head, you know, don't eat it. If you're a chili head, this is a seven and, and up. But here's the thing you can feed this to some chili head and have them say it's the hottest pepper in the world. They'd, they'd say, okay, they believe you. You know, it's a hot one. If you, so, depending on where you're at on the scale of a chili head, some will call it probably, you'll have a few that'll call it a six, but most are going to call it a seven and up. For some reason, maybe it's just in my head. I think chocolate pods make the best can have the potential to make the best powders, or the best uh, pepper powder. I've had chili flakes from a lot, especially chocolate primatales, and it's just the most yummy chili flake in the world. And I've gotten to a place in my capsaicin journey where I, I if given a choice. I would always choose pepper flake over pepper powder any day, all day. There's never a time where I'm ever going to choose powder over a flake. Ever. It's not to say I don't like powder. If I don't have chili flakes, I'll certainly use powder. I'm happy to do it, you know. But given a choice, if I have a choice, I'll pick flake every single time. But I just think that chocolate pods, just because of the, especially that one, because it was smoky, it would just make such a great powder or flake. Um, Excuse me, that was a pepper burp, people. Okay, it peaked and it's on its way down. Okay. So it has a pretty normal burn as far as the, the burn was sort of ghost pepper-like, where it was kind of, it took a second to build. But what a great pepper. I love the taste of that. All right, so listen, we're gonna wrap it up now. Uh, I may do one more today. I'm not sure how I'll feel after this one. We'll see. I have to get my tolerance back up. It's chilly. It's pepper season, you know. All right, so we're going to end it now. In the description box, you're going to see a link for Tomas Spillane. He has the peppers that you're watching me eat. I'm blessed, you guys. I get to eat the most exotic peppers. Here's the thing. I eat them. You have availability to them if you want them. You just got to click the link, and you can get a box of these peppers sent to you. Just be careful if you do it, okay? Go easy. But in the description box, you will see a link for Tomas Blaine, so reach out to him. On the bottom, you're going to see um, Johnny Scoville Jr. It's my son. Chip off the old block. And you're also going to see The Lifeboat. It's my brother's channel about recovery and living a purposeful life, okay? On the top, you're going to see Pepperology, which are tons of videos geared towards brand new people. And all of the challenges I've done since I started this bizarre journey of mine. Um, so please check them out. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.